Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, and today we'll be reviewing another Transformers because it's still Transformers week, and this is the last review of the this week, and this is another throwback. To Transformers Universe Classics Legends. Brawn. And this is my second Brawn I own in my collection. They are going to be making a Transformers Legacy Brawn, which I look forward to getting. But this little one is just so cool looking. I dig it. I dig the car mode they used for this one. But before we get down to transformation, let us get down to the most important thing, comparisons. Here is the Legends Brawn from Universe Classics next to Titan's Return, Autobot, Brawn, Legends, Universe Classics, Prowl? Trailbreaker, Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, Optimus Prime, and who could forget? Get the most important character in the entire show, Grimlock. Yep, I got an entire wave of these little Legends bots, and they look awesome. That's all there is to say for comparisons. Let's get down to transforming brawn. First, we're going to disconnect this section like so. Fold these out like so. Push them up. Fold this down and that forms his waist. Fold these door sections down to form his arms. And there we got Brawn in his robot mode. And he looks pretty good looking. He's not accurate with the face to the G1 toy, but otherwise he looks pretty cool. There is black to his face, which that's the only nitpick I have about this figure. But he's got some knee articulation that's due to transformation. Just not a lot. Arm articulation is really good. No elbows because this is a Legends figure. But now we're going to do a comparison in robot mode next to Titan's Return Brawn. Which I will transform him off camera like I always do. Because I've memorized his transformation with no problem. If I can loosen up his arm... And straighten out his arms. But here we got my original brawn. This guy has a silver face, which is G1 accurate. And this guy's got like a little black face. So not a very good figure for face sculpt wise. They could have done that with a silver. But it is what it is. And they messed up big time when making this guy. But he's not a bad looking brawn. Now we're going to do some other robot mode comparisons with Grimlock, Optimus, and the power of the power core, not power core, but legacy core class prime, and Bumblebee, Cliff Jumper, Grimlock, and so forth. But here we have him next to little Grimlock. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. So we're going to do a group shot with all the bots I got here.
here he is next to good old Bumblebee because he's Bumblebee and he's always precious. Bumblebee is so, so precious. And here he is next to Cliff Jumper, also precious. These are all so precious. Of course, Trailbreaker. Do a comparison next to good old Trailbreaker. Because Trailbreaker is a good Generation 1 character. Here he is next to Trailbreaker. And finally comes Prowl. Really? So here he is next to Prowl, and they are all so precious. A lot of precious little Transformers. So cute and precious. It's adorable. Finally, this original Optimus. And then we'll do a comparison with Brawn next to the Legacy Core Class, Optimus Prime. But yeah, he is a little bit smaller compared to Optimus right here. But yeah, this is a better comparison than this. With their, they are at the exact same size scale. And you're probably wondering, is a Legacy... Not Legacy, but a Transformers Legends... Universe Classics Brawn, worth adding to your Transformers collection? I think yes. If you're a Transformers fan and you remember seeing him in G1 series like I did, Brawn was the little tough Autobot. He, could, he, he always rushed headfirst in the battle, like when he jumped on Soundwave. Take this, you dipstick, dick stick, tape deck. I thought that was very funny, and Braun got the better of Soundwave. <laughs> Random and straight into Reflector. That was funny. And so glad I have another Braun in the collection. You can never have too many Brawns. And I'm looking forward to seeing the Transformers Legacy Braun and Autobot gears. I might pick them up as a set. Because they share the exact same vehicle mode as one another. That's why I'm going to pick them up when they come out. And if you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And that was our little bio on Brawn. Now Eddie Hill is moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.